what kind of happened this week. And so what I did is instead of dropping calories, I'm just gonna go a little bit deeper into meal prep. So this is a meal, I wanna say it's like, it doesn't probably look super appetizing. I don't care so much about presentation. I just wanna get them down. But this is egg whites and eggs, some turkey bacon and regular bacon. So this is I think like 360 calories, close to four, 40 grams of protein. So good little start there for my meal one. And just a couple cuties, you know, a little bit of vitamin C, um, and I've been having a lot of fruit over the last few weeks, a lot more vegetables. That's gonna help me with overall wellness and well-being and feeling good. Because one of the things is if you're six weeks in and you've been dropping weight really fast, this might be the point where you start to notice, hey, I'm getting a little bit moodier, I'm hungry more. You know, you start worrying about reverting. I think what a lot of people wanna see is that physique progress, that physical progress. As I do start dropping, there's a lot of different elements at work. Let's say when you reach set point, which is that, you know, the body composition where your body doesn't generally wanna change anymore, doesn't wanna get leaner. That's gonna be a hard part of the battle. And that's something that if I'm not mentally and spiritually equipped to deal with it, meaning I can deal or cope with some of the challenges of it, it's gonna be hard and I'm gonna to wanna to give up and it's gonna be tempting to eat foods that you know I'm trying to prevent eating in order to get to my goals. But mentally, I've been still growing and spiritually I've grown a lot through scripture and reading the Bible and reading, say, different books that make me think about being a better person, that make me grow. Obviously, it's daily walk time, it's lunch time, and something that happens this week is I bump it up a mile. So now we're at four miles a day for walking, um, trying to keep the same pace. And that, this really helps me with, like I said, extra calorie burn and to make sure that I can, you know, have more food because for me, I want to minimize the suffering. So one of the best advantages that I'm at and coming across to right now is this uh, transformation challenge. And in your world, it could be something, you know, online or in the gym or with friends. But one of the cool things about January is, you know, people want to make change and a challenge or a competition is a good way to do it. Now, usually the win or getting, you know, the prize is an extrinsic reward, but you want to make this intrinsic motivation in this process because it's stuff you want to keep, especially if you're getting towards your health goals. And my goal in this challenge isn't supposed to, it has nothing to do with winning or competing to try and win with the best physique change. It has to do with myself being better than I was last year, going to somewhere that I've never gone before, mentally, spiritually, being in a state where I have full control and really there's nothing holding me back. There's a lot of things that can go into a transformation. And if you follow the T-Form series, that's what you're gonna see is more of emphasis on the physical transformation. A lot of the, say, habits I use to just change my body. Um, and mentally, obviously it helps me. I obviously learned in that process of, you know, what I was able to do, what I was able to accomplish. I did a little bit different like I try and do every year. So for me, what I like most is the community. I like what people say, even if someone's new, the questions they ask, it still makes me have to think about, hey, what is, you know, the right way or what is, a good way to respond to that especially when it comes to nutrition not many people are going to agree with mine but that's all right because it works for me i can always get a little better and then sometimes i may have to change my approach you're never too developed or smart enough to know everything and so i really what i like to do is in a conversation like that is to just absorb what's being said and maybe there's something i haven't heard before or maybe i'm reminded of something that i haven't applied in a while or i've kind of put to the back of my mind so you know be receptive to learning and making sure that you know, you're not being stubborn or defensive because in those instances, you might find yourself not getting progress because you're still stuck in some way. But if you're not getting to your goals, then does that make sense? Okay, so just got my workout done. It was a really light workout for the day. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is relax, recover. My shoulder's a little sore. So definitely don't wanna injure that. That's kind of priority is not getting injured in this process. So I'm just taking it easy doing what I can and making sure not to overdo it, especially because this is, a I got a long way to go. Pretty much in the first half of this, we kind of tried a few things, right? We tried keeping the calories pretty high, um, you know, incorporating things really slow. And then now that we have that working to for us, I'm gonna use some more advantages as I go to hopefully keep myself from dropping the calories too low. I've been taking it really slow rather than making an abrupt change where I just went from you know, a lot of that, you know, high calorie dense foods that are highly palatable to low calorie dense foods that are high in nutrition. I didn't make that shift too and just that fast because what would happen? My body would catch on pretty quick and they would say, hey, whoa, whoa, but 
it's time to, I don't like this. Like I miss some of those sugars and some of those higher carb meals. And some people can hit that switch and they can stay with it. And I think there's a lot less of the people that can stick that over the long run of life than let's say just like for a little window to do a quick transformation. Cause when they come out of it, they're gonna, okay, time to eat again. I need to refuel. And what's gonna happen? They're gonna go back to those. Cause I've done that. And then you gain a lot of weight right away. And it's something that I'd like to prevent. And so I'm doing both sides the drop slow and I'm gonna do the increase slow. That's my plan anyway. So we'll see how that pans out. As we go into the second half, I am gonna start shifting the outer self a little bit more and shaping it because not just cause that's what people wanna see, but that, that's what drives me, right? If I'm putting all this hard work in, I'd like to reap the rewards in some way or another. So rather than dropping calories, which a lot of people are gonna going to wanna to do if they haven't seen the scale drop or their waist or any change over weeks, they're gonna say, okay, it's time to drop calories. And before I get to that, let's try just a couple more things that I think I can do. And I've talked about in the endless series, changing the nutrient density, upping it because it's fuel for the body. I should feel a little bit better as I start shifting away from say little snacking things, you can call them like chips or, you know, just let's say high calorie dense foods it's not that I don't have any of those because I've been having a little bit. I would say six to eight weeks I've been decreasing it other than Christmas week. And so like let's say this is my meal coming up right here. Um, it's got some shredded pork on top. I made the cauliflower rice and the peas and the rice. And then something else is I'm part of say a competition or a challenge or a community, you know, to just keep pushing forward and get the motivation through this online, say forum or chat, just to kind of see, you know, where everybody else is at and how they're doing and getting those tips each and every week and every day to keep you know pushing forward and that's really my goal is to take all of these things together and keep working towards and stacking the deck as i get you know deeper and deeper into this it's been nine years since i start, first started learning about nutrition and dieting and there's a lot of things i would tell myself back then that i didn't know and probably the first was is how many calories I actually need per day. Nutrition is fuel. And so if I start pulling this away and pulling calories down, I'm gonna start seeing my performance suffer. And like I've said in previous videos that my performance is really important. That's what my nutrition is really gonna help me is say train the way I'm training and you know get the endurance I need because overall I'm trying to create this calorie burning machine is what I call it. And I learned to do that a few years ago in my first journey. And when I first figured out why I need so many calories and I didn't know about all the research and the body types and say, you know, movement, I didn't know anything about calories in, calories out. Um, I just saw, hey, diet says 2000 calories a day. So I tried 1800 a day in my first diet and I cut down really quick, but at some point I rebounded and guess what? It was really difficult to get that lean again. It actually took me another six years until I got that lean again. I couldn't figure it out. And it was trying to drop calories so low, but with the new training I had, I was able to say, really deplete the body, which is something I'd never known how to do before. So now I'm in this place where I can train hard, but I was so hungry. And so I would just every night binge before I went to bed because I was so hungry, trying to have 1800 calories a day or 2000, then I raised it to 2400. And in the end, that's why I'm on 4000 calories a day right now is because in order to fuel these workouts and these walks and staying active and keeping my mind sharp and you know not being grouchy and not being hungry, it takes a lot of calories to do that. And I figured that out. Am I gonna be dropping calories? I've mentioned in the end of the series too that I will be, but it's the last, it's kind of my last measure. It's the last, that's when I start getting desperate. It's okay, I'm gonna drop the calories if I'm not getting any leaner because that's all that there is left after I put all the rest of these advantages in. And so we'll go through those in the next few weeks and how you can incorporate them with your journey. You know, the body can adapt. I do believe that. And I've tried it over time is saying, doing a number of things, a bunch of things. And then what happens is, is the body goes, okay, I know what we're doing here. And this is where you hear people say, hey, I gotta shake it up. I gotta, you know, sh um, keep the body guessing. And I, I don't believe in that. I just think that the body is very efficient at catching on to certain things. And that's why I say that, you know, your training should be progressing a little bit each week. Your nutrition should get a little bit better each week. Cause there's this point where, you know, and I've, I've had it, it's like this plateau point, or you can call it a set point, you call it whatever, a limitation, but you do everything and it works, works, works. And then not only is it not effective anymore, but it seems like you're going backwards a little bit. And so that's one of those things where, you know, I just think that that's why it's important to kind of change it up from time to time. And there's very few people that can say, find this certain pattern or habit, set of habits and patterns and routines. And that's what they do. And it's what they do for the rest of their life. It's really, 
I, I don't know anybody that does that. So, you know, there's always changes, whether it be in your environment or just due to the times and the culture, you know, things shift and change over time, whether it's food availabilities or certain say, um, just different ways of life. And we found that out through COVID, you know, we had to adjust and adapt. And that's kind of important is that you learn how to do that. And that's what this journey about an X form, it's about adapting, being flexible, about learning that, you know what, it's not just about how we do health and fitness, it's about how we see life in general and change that perspective to say, be better for ourselves inwardly, not so much of the outside. And that's really my emphasis is growing the inner self rather than the outer self. Years ago, you couldn't have convinced me that this was okay. I would have been very, say, disappointed or frustrated if I had been six weeks and this is the only progress I had made per the scale and the waist and the pictures. I would have thought, wow, I am not getting any results. But what's happened is quite the opposite in this journey is because in, on the inside, I've gotten so much growth that I can really take this wherever I want and because I've learned and really like the person that I've be, that I'm becoming and I'm shaping into and that's happened through the mental and the spiritual side and so now that I have that those things in place I can focus more on the physical and start you know moving and getting the re result driven side from that because it's going to be through a lot of hard work um, determination discipline there's a lot of things that are going to go in there there's no shortcut in this the thing is though is mentally I'm ready for it and I've done journeys where you think you're ready and then you get into the suffering process and then, you know, there's just too many temptations and you give in. And so I've kind of learned, you know, how to train my mind to say cope in difficulty or to take challenges head on at this point. And I learned that last year, you know, in some of my journeys with food challenges and the suffering and it was just an inevitable process, you know, that I was trying to better myself and I learned quickly that I was not great at food challenges and that's okay because my goal in that was to just give it a try just see hey maybe I have some sort of advantage or edge there's some people who make a living on it and I would never be one of those people because I just don't have say the um, tolerance for that much suffering and the, the being full and being sick and miserable and it was a hard one that I'll talk about at the end of this journey of all those experiences. In terms of the advantages that we have left is there still are more and I haven't been through them yet. And there's this inner voice that's telling me right now, you need to start using these. But like I promised in the series, we're gonna do them slow. We're gonna do just one per week and take our time so I can show them to you. Because yes, I could throw them all in now, but I think I'm gonna be almost cheating myself because the body catches on pretty quick. And I don't want to throw my full hand in yet. I want to just do it real, you know, just take my time. So, and see how that works out because I've never done it this way. I've always kind of rushed everything and thrown, you know, a handful of them at a time. And then at some point you run out of advantages. And then when you get to say a certain lean or a goal, and then like you have nothing left, you're at a plateau. So I'd like to see if I can beat a plateau I had in the past and beat myself. That's really my goal on this in terms of leanness is to beat a person I was in the past. How's your journey going so far? Are you able to change anything yet? Are you being patient in the process? Are you learning anything? Are you getting results? Those are the things to start thinking about as you're trying to say change your lifestyle for the better. If you just focus on physique, I hate to say it, it's very one dimensional. In order to get the three dimensions, you gotta focus on all three. And I've learned that over time. And in this decade almost of say this journey and learning about health and fitness and wellness, and the psychology of all this and all the schooling and all the training and all the education, I've come to the conclusion that you need all three and it's what's gonna get you really, not just life change and a new lifestyle, but really build that inner joy, that inner peace, that inner content that a lot of people don't have and say this positive mindset that you can take yourself wherever you wanna go. And that's what I've learned and it's really important. And that's why I'm going through the X-Form series is because as I've kind of learn how to do it, I'm trying to tra pass that information on to others to help them and do it in the process to show you it's something that is possible. It's not something I just made up. It's something that I've learned how to do over time. All these things are in research. They're not something I figured out, but let's just say there's a lot of data that backs up a lot of this process. And some of my techniques are maybe different than research, but that's okay because research is there to just give you a starting point. And if it doesn't work, like I've said in other episodes in the endless series, try the opposite. It's what's really most effective is you can't figure out what works until you try different things. 
but also say mentally we're learning how to reshape our mind and perspective and spiritually we're learning our relationships you know that inner peace that inner voice and really just using it to our advantage and listening to it and making sure that we're going in a positive direction a healthy direction and then we're not going away from say the things that are important to us and the things we say we love or the people we love or the people and the things that we value so so i'm going to go ahead and get this meal down and start the recovery process thanks for tuning in um, we're going to get you know see what happens in the next six weeks i'm moving towards the goals that i had from the beginning of this. And it's something that, like I said, it takes time, but hopefully we start seeing that physique transformation that I am moving towards and that I can now prioritize because I have some of the other things in check. So till then, take care, peace out. Therefore, I've written a new subroutine for that purpose. I am attempting to fill a silent moment with non-relevant conversation. I have found that humans often use small talk during awkward moments.